Hey guys! In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make money as a teenager. I know that it's so hard as a teen to make money, especially if you're under 15 and you can't work yet. So I have 20 different ideas for you guys, and I separated them into the categories of jobs, online businesses, and local businesses that you can run as a teen. I've actually tried out a couple of these, so I'll share my experience with you guys, and I just really hope you love this video. So let's get into it. The first category is online businesses for teens. First up, we have Redbubble. So basically, all you need to do is just make like some sort of cute design. You don't even have to be like an amazing artist or anything but just anything you can think of and then upload it to your store and then when you get an order Redbubble will turn it into a sticker or a t-shirt or a pillow or literally anything and then you can make money off of that passively which is amazing this is especially great if you're an artist I've seen a lot of teenagers actually be really really successful at this it's super easy to manage because you only really need to just upload the art once and then Redbubble is in charge of shipping it out and customer service and all of that so it's a really really easy fun way to make money the next idea is to start an Etsy shop now you might be thinking it sounds great but what am I I gonna sell don't worry I got you, girl. One, sell aesthetic makeup bags. I love this kind of makeup bag. It's so cute. There's actually tutorials for it on YouTube. You can just search up like boxed makeup bag and you can sell these and they're really, really cute. Like I would buy one. I actually want to buy one. You don't even need to be like an especially amazing sewer. You just kind of need a sewing machine for this one. Number two, stickers. You can make your own stickers and you can just list them on Etsy. Stickers are like, I think one of like the most popular things to sell on Etsy. Three, bookmarks. I think bookmarks are a great thing to sell on Etsy because paper is not that expensive so they're basically just paying for the design itself and if you can like laminate it that'd be like amazing so it just feels like good quality for aesthetic candles these are so cute here's a couple different ideas for you guys these aesthetic candles have been trending for a long time now so I think there's still a market out there for it I mean I would buy one of these for candles you typically just need like soy wax or beeswax or something and then the wicks the molds and any sort of essential oil that you want to add to it to make it smell good you can also make shell candles i've seen these and i think they are just literally so cute you can also sell friendship bracelets i know there's definitely a market out there for friendship bracelets especially if you can make them super super cute you can make like the classic braided friendship bracelet which i actually have a tutorial for on my channel i will link it down below for you guys or you can see it in like I always forget which side the little like eye is on, but it's on one of these corners. So make sure to check it out. These are super easy to make and all you need is embroidery thread basically. Or you can make like sort of like those Love Shack fancy inspired like charm bracelets. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'll put some pictures up on the screen. Of course, never steal anyone's designs. Make sure to put your own spin on things and do your own designs. But I was just saying that there's a million different variations of types of friendship bracelets that you can make. And number seven, if you literally don't have any more ideas, just think about any hobby that you have that's handmade and you can sell that. This is something actually that can expand and grow with you as you grow. So starting as a teenager, it's great because you can like get ahead and then maybe by the time you're like 20, it could be like a literal full-time business if you choose the right product and if you put in enough work and consistency. The next way to make money as a teen is to sell your old clothes. This is something I actually have done a couple times before. So you're gonna start out and you're gonna go through the clothes that you have and you're gonna say, you know what, these things I do like and these things I don't like. Now these things that you don't like or that don't fit you anymore, you're going to to wash them because that is called consideration for other people and I, I don't know I just think it's a good idea to wash them and then you're gonna take pictures of them you can either put them on and like show the clothing and like take a picture in the clothes or you can put it on like a hanger and just like hold up the hanger or just like put it on your bed I've seen a couple different people who sell it like that all you need to do is just make sure that your pictures are really really professional don't adjust like the color or add like a bunch of different filters because you want to be honest and you want people to know the actual color of the product they're buying but you can definitely like brighten it up with Lightroom or just use like good natural lighting there are a couple different apps you can use to sell your clothes the ones that I can think of off the top of my head are Poshmark, Depop, eBay, and Mercari. The one I've sold things on in the past were Poshmark and Depop, but I know people who have sold on eBay before. Again, this is something you can expand. So like once you sell out your closet, then you can move towards like buying things and like thrift flipping things and selling your thrift flip. I think this is a really great idea. And again, there are multiple people who have done this and been super successful. Basically, you could just like go to a thrift store, find cute things and clean them. And then you can sell those on your Depop or your part part Poshmark. So for example, if you find a shirt at the thrift store that is $5 and then you thrift flip it or clean it or just make sure it's in good condition, then you can sell it for $15 and then you've made $10. The next online business I have for you guys is to be a freelance writer. A freelance writer is someone who basically writes anything for you on a job by job basis. Again, it's super flexible. So if you have like a quiz coming up that you need to study for, or if you're going on vacation with your family, you can put a pause on this. Some companies that you can work with to become a freelance writer are Upwork and Fiverr. I'm not sure 
sure of the minimum age requirement for these. It might be that you have to be over 18, but I'm sure there are other ones out there that you can do as a teenager. The next one is actually what you guys are watching right now. So start a YouTube channel. I actually do this one, obviously. And if you are wondering, yes, I do get paid from YouTube. And so do most YouTubers if they're monetized and if they choose to put ads on their video. So basically every single time you watch one of my videos and you see an ad, I get paid because of that ad. It's just a little bit, but it does add up over time after multiple people watching your video. It took me about a year to get monetized, but for some people it'll take shorter, some people it'll take longer. You can start YouTube with literally a phone or a tablet or just any sort of device that you have. You just kind of need like one smart device and that's it. I started YouTube almost four years ago with my iPhone X and it's grown into this beautiful, wonderful, amazing community that I have now and I love every single one of you. And if you're not subscribed, I think you should subscribe because we have some fantastic content coming your way. You're so welcomed and so loved and I would love to have you a part of our community. Also, if you want to start a YouTube channel but you don't want to show your face or if your parents don't want you to show your face, I have a solution for you. One option is you can make faceless vlogs. There are actually a couple of different channels that'll make faceless vlogs and people watch them. I actually have a couple of favorite YouTubers who do faceless vlogs. Another option you can do is like aerial view slash like not craft but like it's hard to explain, but basically if you were showing like nail designs, you can just like set up a camera from like an overhead view over your desk and then like just show your hands doing the nails and like using your voice or you don't even have to use your voice. You could just like put music and like little titles showing you what's going on. The next category is local businesses you can start as a teenager. These are just really fun like local things that I think you could do that I think would actually be really successful and you could actually make some money off of these. It's different from the online business category because you won't have any like online presence. First one is to tutor younger kids. You can teach art, sports, math, English, teach a different language, or music. And I know what you're thinking. Lulu, I'm not some Mozart. I can't be a teacher, but hear me out. You don't need to be spectacular, you just need to be good enough. For example, math is not my favorite thing on the planet. I'm not bad, but I'm not Einstein. But I can definitely manage teaching a seventh grader, a fourth grader, or even a first grader some math. And you can end up getting paid for it, and you're helping parents, and you're helping kids, and it's all around just a good job. Next up is dog walking. So I think most of us have probably thought about the idea of being a local dog walker. I know I have, and I think it'd be so much fun. You can walk your neighbor's dogs just around the neighborhood. It's flexible, so you can do it right after school. It's also great because you get to be active and spend the entire time that you're working outside. And according to the internet, being around dogs can one, reduce stress. I know school is stressing you out, girl. Two, boost your mood. This is true. I mean, just look at this. Three, improve your physical health. Four, reduce loneliness. Enhance social skills. I'm actually not sure about this one. I feel like when I hang out with my dog, I just want to like keep hanging out with my dog and not be social, but maybe that's just a personal problem. And finally, dogs can provide a sense of purpose in your life. <laughs> Side note, Jesus changed my life and he gave me my purpose and life with him is 10 times better. Here's a little verse of the day. So basically you just get to be paid to hang out with dogs and work out at the same time. So it's just a win, win a win-win. <laughs> the next one is to wash cars. Think about how many cars are on your block. There's probably a lot and all those people need their car washed and a lot of those people don't want to do that themselves and are willing to pay for it. So you may as well offer to clean their car for them for a price, of course, or out of the goodness of your heart. Aww. This is a great business to start because you don't really need anything to start. I mean, you just kind of need water, soap, towels, etc., which you probably already have, or you can just buy it for a really cheap amount. Number four is to babysit. I actually have a friend who babysits and she makes actually a lot of money from babysitting. You know who you are. I love kids. I feel like kids are so fun, so may as well just get paid to take care of kids. <laughs> Along with that, if you take care of kids at night, like while their parents go out to dinner or something, then after the kids go to bed, you might have a couple hours that you can just like focus on your homework and if you're a younger teen you can actually be a mom's helper basically what this is it's, it's like being a babysitter but the parents are home or at least a parent is home so it's like if a mom wants some time to herself you can take the kids and you're just in charge of keeping them safe and entertaining them and basically just making sure they don't bother their parents i think this is a great job for younger teens because you won't have the same level of responsibility as being a babysitter but you still get to kind of do the same thing the next business is to sell baked goods and i actually have a little proposition for you guys. Listen up. I think at this point we have all seen these cute little Pinterest cakes. I think it would be so cool if you made like custom cakes and just became like the cake girl of your school. So then like anytime someone has like a birthday party or a sports game or prom or something, you can make the cakes and it can like say people's names on it. It'll be aesthetic. I'm sure people at your high school or your middle school would like love to get these cakes. I mean, I totally would. And I think there's actually less competition than you would think because as a Gen Zer, you know what another Gen Zer means by an aesthetic cake whereas a bakery in like a supermarket might not understand like what you're meaning by that or they might have certain specifications that they have to base their cakes off of and so 
you making like little cute mini cakes would be kind of rare in your town and people would definitely like be interested in buying them. And you can also use social media to market to your classmates. The next business you can run is photography. If you have a camera, then you can be a photographer. Of course, you wanna make sure and practice beforehand to make sure you're actually a good photographer. But if you're in middle school, you can take pictures of eighth grade graduates or different school dances. And if you're a high schooler, you can do senior pictures. It seems like almost every single senior has like a senior photo shoot. So you could do that and you could offer it for a lower price than most photographers. And then I'm sure you'd get a lot of business. And you can also take prom pictures or other school dance pictures. I think that's such a good idea because teenagers don't have like as much money to spend as adults. So they're gonna wanna find a good photographer who charges less than like a professional. So you offering your services, your photography services could actually bring in a lot of business just by charging a little bit less than everybody else. The next business is to cut grass. If you look outside your window, I'm sure you will see that a lot of your neighbors might have front lawns or back lawns unless you live like in the desert, in which case this is not the best one for you, but there are more coming. Basically all you would need for this is like some sort of grass cutting machine. And by that I mean like either a lawn mower or like one of those stick things that you can cut lawns. You know what, just do a lawn mower, it's better. And basically you can just charge people to do their lawns. And this is also something that you can start doing like on a weekly or monthly basis, however long they want in between their lawn cutting, which means repeat business, which we love. And if you live in the snow, which I don't think most places are snowing right now because we're gonna go into summer. I mean, my area is literally cold and terrifyingly chilly, but if you have snow where you are, you can also offer to shovel to shovel snow for your neighbors. And the last local business idea is to do window cleaning. All you need for this is just some window cleaner and like a squeegee or like paper towels and just like the right products. And you can just shine other people's windows until you see your, dare I say, gorgeous reflection in it. The next category is jobs for teens. Most of these you would probably need to be over 15 years old, but you never know. Everything's different by state. But here are six different jobs that you can do as a teenager. Number one, a camp counselor. In the summer, there are a bunch of summer camps. So you can either do this at like a church camp or like a local Girl Scouts camp or even like a full on summer camp. This is great for many reasons. One, they hire teenagers. Two, you get to work outdoors. Three, you get to take care of kids and hang out with other teenagers. And four, it just sounds super fun. And bonus, you might be able to put this on your college applications one day or even a resume, which is I would honestly love to be a camp counselor. I don't know if I'll do it, but I feel like it's just like a great summer job because you can do it during the summer and then you won't have it going throughout the fall and all that, so it won't interfere with your school. The next job is a lifeguard. Lifeguarding is cool because one, you look cool. Two, you're getting paid to look cool. And three, you get to add it to your resume and look cool to your future employers. <laughs> Along with that, you get to keep people safe and they typically hire teenagers. You can lifeguard at like a public pool or even the beach if you live near the beach. You might need to go through some training for this, but typically they do hire teens which is amazing and it's just like a cool summer fun job like I feel like it's actually something that would be really fun because you get to be outside I actually know a couple people who lifeguard and they all like it so highly recommend number three is a remote tutor as a remote tutor you would basically just be like tutoring kids through zoom so I think there's probably things that you can apply for online to do this job or you can just make it into your own little like mini side business and even if you're not like super smart if you know like the basics and like first through fifth grade stuff you could just teach first to fifth graders this is really cool because you don't have to leave your house so you can be like a little hermit crab and stay inside and you get to hang out with kids and help parents basically you just kind of like sit there and then teach them what they need to be taught but it's over zoom the next one is a remote babysitter and I know this sounds so weird but hear me out basically it's the same thing as a remote tutor except for instead of teaching them things you're basically just in charge of watching the kids making sure they're safe and entertaining them I think this sounds super fun a lot of people actually hire remote babysitters so I think it's a perfect job if you're a teen the next job is to work at a local shop Shop. Some local shops that'll typically hire teens are coffee shops, smoothie or juice shops, bakeries, and frozen yogurt and ice cream shops. A plus for the froyo and juice shops is that since they're busier in the summer, they're more likely to hire you because they're desperate and they need all the help they can get. And a lot of them will hire like temporary positions just because they need the help during the summertime because they're getting more business. This also works in winter because a lot of companies will hire teenagers for the Christmas break, for the Christmas season because again, it's super busy and they need all the help they can get. And the last job is a paid internship. Paid internships typically hire older teenagers, so I don't really know, but then again, you'll have to check with companies near you. This is really cool because you can gain experience and also put it on your resume one day. So you will likely need to be 16 years old or older to qualify for an internship, but you never know, so make sure to check it out. 
Last but not least, this is not a way to make money as a teenager, but if you're a teenager who has like a lot of free time, I think it'd be amazing to spend your time volunteering. I really want to volunteer this year. It's really great to focus on those who need it and share God's love. You can volunteer at an animal shelter, your church, an elderly home, a hospital, any of those places really. Honestly, by helping people in need, I know that that is going to be 10 times more rewarding than making money. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, give me a like, and comment down below this emoji. I have no idea what this emoji is, but I'm gonna figure it out. So please comment down below this emoji. Also shout out to my girl Naomi. She is literally so sweet. All of you guys are amazing and I hope you guys know that I literally read like every single comment. I love you guys all with like my entire heart and I just hope you know that I'm always here for you. Keep smiling and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Now go get the coin. Bye! <laughs> that was weird. Okay, bye!